We're here. Tom, get Sam ready. I'll go wake the doc up. Sam, we're at the doctor. God, is that you, Polly? What are you doing here so late? Good evening, Doc. I'm sorry, but we had an accident, and we need your help. Okay. Where is he? Bring him inside. Okay. That was our doctor. Doesn't ask questions. And Sam's in good company. Are you sure that he isn't just an untrained butcher? Definitely not. He's the best. The best paid doctor in the city. If you get hurt, you'll be thankful that we have him. Okay. I hope he'll do his best for Sam. At least that's all over. We could have all ended up a lot worse off than Sam did. When I catch that bastard who double crossed us, I'll tear his head off. It looks like someone has had enough of us. It sure does. I don't know about you, but I'm going to get a shadow of something. When the Don finds out what happened, there'll be hell to pay. This means a real war, and it ain't good. It certainly ain't. All right. So good night, Tom. Have a good night. Or at least try to have one. Tommy, you come like a gift from heaven. A stoolie just called me and said that the cops want to pick one of my friends up. Hey, we gotta let him know as fast as possible. He lives in a house in Hoboken. Could you go and warn him? Okay, Lucas. What do you want this time of night? Lucas Petoni said me. We gotta disappear. The cops will be here any minute. Shit. Thank Lucas for me. And you too, of course. I better go out the back so no one sees me. Goodbye. Good luck. So, what? Fine, went well. He thanked you and then quickly disappeared. Oh, thank God. Hey, I have a reward for you, Tommy. Hey, this is totally new. It's a little different than his other cars. It's the first line of cars with an aerodynamic form. Yeah, hey, they look pretty sharp to me, but many people don't like them. Hey, the main thing is that it purrs like a kid in yeah. And you can snag one easy. You just stick this wire in here, boom, that's it.
One guy who lives in Oakwood has the same model. He parks it in front of the garage next to his house, eh? Great, thanks. Yesterday was the worst disaster we've had. We lost eight men, the whole shipment. And Sam can't even stand up. This is a war and we're in a hell of a fix. He's already got the prosecutor on his side. And he's digging up a load of dirt on us. He's also pretty close to the counselor whose boy you knocked off, Tommy. So he's got the cops after us. They ain't got nothing on us. That's where you're wrong. Yesterday, Frank handed over all our account books. The prosecutor is having a field day. Damn it. Frank wouldn't be out for blood. But he doesn't seem to mind too much if I go to jail for life. Those account books will give the prosecutor a truckload of evidence for the case against us. But without Frank, It'll be for nothing. We've got to liquidate Frank. You mean hit him? You trying to tell me I've got to knock Frank off? More than 20 years I've known Frank. All I got, I got with him. But Frank broke the Omerta. I don't know why, but he must have his reasons. And we've got our own reasons to rub him out and get those books back. Otherwise, We'll do time, and plenty of it. Whatever you want, boss. If there ain't no other way... There isn't. I figure today's our last chance to do something before they move Frank out of our reach. What do you want me to do? First, find these men and find out where they've got Frank. They're good stoolies. They have connections with the cops and in the courthouse. One of them is sure to know. You already know Big Biff's from Chinatown and little Tony's always loafing on the island near the museum. Then track down Frank. Whatever you do, don't kill him till he tells you where those books are. Kabish? Got it. Frank's going to have protection. You'll have to knock them off first. Once you know where the books are, kill him. Okay, boss. Whatever you want. Good luck, Tommy. 
get a gun from Vincenzo and a car off Ralphie. And remember, if you don't do this right, we're done for. God damn it. What have you done, Frank? You were a brother to me. We both got jobs to do, Tommy. We'll talk later. Sorry, Tom, but I'm really busy right now. Hello, Vince. I guess you know why I'm here. Right. What can you do? <sighs> Frank knew what would happen. What do you got for me? A Colt 1911 should be enough, but here's a sawed-off as well. In Sicily, they call it a lupada. When they find someone shot by one of these babies, everyone knows the deal. Unfortunately, this is the perfect situation to use it. It's got a short range, but it covers a lot of real estate. You can't miss. I never thought that I'd meet with Sicilian tradition like this. What do you got for me today, Ralphie? Hey, hey, t -t -t Tommy, I got a new car. Just a bit better than that, than, than, than that v v v v V8. Has 80 horsepower. Pretty good little m m m machine. They change the locks a bit, but uh, they're no problem when you're in the, 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 the business. That's it. Thanks, Ralphie. 